Hey everyone, I'm John Sisson and today we're doing a quick first look at two new Sigma lenses that just have been released in Australia and that is the 45mm f2.8 and the 35mm f1.2. This is basically just a quick unboxing of what I have. So these actually haven't been opened yet, but I'm at my, one of my favorite coffee shops at the moment. It is uh, Bowie Espresso. It's a region place, but make some decent coffees. Uh, and I also have my road just sitting in the Palo Sugar here, just cause I don't want to clip it onto anything. But anyway, um, yeah, so it is the 45 millimeter F2.8. So, I actually waited to do an unboxing for you guys uh, so I can actually experience or you can see my reactions with the lenses because I was really excited about what the Sigma lenses had to offer and this is just, it's like their first, uh, what do you call it, their first lenses actually made for mirrorless cameras which is pretty, pretty exciting so Sigma have always been like brand or a company that tries to push the limits with their lenses and when I actually heard about what they were doing I was pretty excited to try them out. Uh, this is the 45mm f2.8. It is very compact. It do have an aperture ring which is great. It is really made for travel. Uh, it does have a 55mm filter thread so just keep that in mind but just holding it this feels really solid. Made in Japan, obviously, and you do have a focus switch from manual focus to autofocus. And yes, it also does have weather seals, so it has a rubber gasket on the, on the mount of the lens, which is great. Uh, obviously, this is autofocus as well, made for Sony A7 cameras, the A9s, so all the full frames, and you can also use it on crop sensor cameras as well. Actually, there is a lens hood. That is also supplied. This actually feels pretty solid as well, which is great. I love that. And it honestly doesn't feel too heavy. And I like how it just clicks into place. I mean, it's just those little things that make it feel, make the shooting experience better, to be honest. You do have the, the A mode, which basically means that you're going to control the aperture through the camera body instead if you prefer using the body instead of the actual lens, but yeah, you do have that option. Funnily enough, I do have its com uh, direct competitor, which is a Samyang 45mm f1.8. In terms of the actual uh, main differences, this is an f1.8 aperture, whereas this is an f2.8. But you also do get the aperture ring and the weather seals as well on that. As well as the, um, the focusing switch as well. As well, as well. On this one, it's a very simple design. You only do get the focusing ring, no weather seals on it. But it is an f1.8 and it is a bit cheaper as well compared to the Sigma. It doesn't feel as solid, but you know this is, more, this is actually a more expensive lens. So. This would be an interesting comparison when I do the video. Uh, hopefully that won't be too long. So, let's put these aside for now. And let's move on to the, the Sigma 35mm f1.2. Uh, this comes in a fairly large box. So, let's give it, give it an open. Let's quickly open it. All these, um, one take video, like I'm trying to do one take videos now, it's just, sometimes you're like, what did I say? What did I say? It's so weird. Anyway. <sighs> Comes in a nice case, if you've ever had an art series lens, or I think a contemporary or a sports series lens, this is basically the same type of case again. But, oh, wow. Alright, this is a heavy lens. By the way, I am in somewhat of a crowded place, crowded place, 
there's a lot of people walking past so apologies if it's pretty loud here uh, this is actually one of the first times shooting here well I did shoot here before but just one of this loud and I am shooting this at night time where people just go out and eat a lot but um anyway let's get back to the lens so here it is this is the Sigma 35 millimeter f1.2 very chunky lens I do hope it's an 82 yes it's an 82 millimeter filter thread so I can at, e at least I can at least use my polar pro filters on this so I'm happy about that and cool thing about this is that you also do get an aperture ring so f1.2 is obviously the the widest this lens opens up and then f16 is the minimum do also get that a option where you can control the aperture through the camera body instead of the lens but a few differences here or a few additions here you do have the focusing switch from autofocus to manual focus you do have a button which i think would be very similar to the sony's uh, where they have a button on the side but afl i think stands for autofocus lock area focus lock i'm not too sure but we'll have to take a look later on and of course you do get oh you get a clickless yeah you do get an option where you can have the click turn off or on so at the moment ooh, this feels really smooth i like that a bit of resistance on the focusing ring that's fine but i do like that and of course that's how it sounds when it is turned on or the clicking sound anyway and oh, you've got rubber here as well so you got rubber with plastic on the lens hood it is a pedal type lens hood and you get a there's a little button here so you can adjust well i guess so you can remove the lens hood so it feels it's a bit more secure Oof. it is a big lens it's like an slr lens but lucky for you guys i do have a, a comparable lens well the most comparable lens in the sony lineup which is the zeiss 35 or sony 35 mil f1.4 so these are the two lenses here obviously this is the heavier one but few key differences this is obviously an f1.2 as opposed to an f1.4 and there is no button here i'm gonna check if i can customize that button later in sony menus but you a few similarities is that you do have the aperture ring and you do have that click and de-click option in terms of the weather seals it sony does state this has a weather resistant design but on the sigma you do have a rubber gasket here so it's going to prevent any moisture and dust from getting inside the lens and or the camera so this is going to be better in terms of weather sealing as opposed to the sony 35mm f1.4 if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below i will be doing a full review on these lenses hopefully i have it up shortly because these are all production samples ready to go so i can actually talk about the image quality the auto focusing performance as well as well as the features and the design and everything and also take a look at my facebook and instagram pages because i do have sample photos and photo updates on life travels photos food uh, also take a look in the description down below for more information about these lenses as well as affiliate links which help support the channel and future projects but until then Happy shooting and thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Say aye aye. <laughs>